Hello everyone, my name's Adele and welcome to Toadstool House Art. So some of you have probably come here thinking she can't possibly have any more ridiculous jumpers. Well I can, I can and I do, <laughs> trust me there are more coming. Uh, this one is also new and I bought it because it's got pumpkins on and because the very fluffy cat looks like my cat Bramble so <laughs> yes but no the ridiculous jumpers are still there's still more um I am I'm I accept that I'm that weird jumper person now and like the weirder more ridiculous it is the more I'm like oh yes I have to have it <laughs> so yeah good news I got a delivery uh, I got my order back from Zap Creatives which contains uh, my pins and my earrings which I'm going to show you me unpacking those so yeah no spoilers because that's coming up <laughs> um, uh, and I've got to I've got to take all uh, pictures of um, all the uh, coasters coasters and the mugs I've got to take pictures of all of those for Etsy because I'm hoping to do a shop launch soon um, when I know the exact date, I will let you know. Um, oh, and I got to go to the, uh, uh there's a ice cream shop down our street that's been closed, obviously, for a very, very long time. And it just sort of opened up and I got to go there and, um, they do these amazing Sundays. They're so nice. So there's just, there's a little bit of footage of that. I didn't really sort of film inside the place. Um, but yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, so yeah, uh, very busy, um, got to do a lot of gluing and packing soon with all these new bits that are coming. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you that today. So thank you for coming and I hope you enjoy the vlog. So good news, my latest zap order has arrived. Um, this is, yeah, this is my next set of badges and my earrings. Uh, so I'm going to open this up real quick. <sighs> Ooh, okay, this one must be the earrings, because this is the smallest one. Um, where's the other one? Alright. Uh, see, these are the ones I'm most worried about, because these are the smallest um, charms I've ever done. I usually do get the either one and a half inch or, or two inch. All my badges lately have been one and a half. So, yeah, move those back. Of course, I can't open it. There we go. Hey, right, let's see what these look like. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh, they worked. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's my water lily. Oh, that's focusing. Oh, a toadstool. Oh, that looks really good. Where's the... Oh, this must be the butterfly. Oh, okay, I'm alright. See, this one was the one I was worried about most about losing detail on. Because it's so small. But now you can see all the dots around the edge. Oh. <laughs> and you can even see all like, the detail put on the pansy as well. Uh, okay, that's four. I should have one more. What am I missing? Oh, the bee. This is one of... I don't see one without the paper off, so I'll just take one off. Okay, see, this is going to be fiddly. This is going to take me a while to do it to all of them. Good job I've got long nails. Oh. Oh, look at that. I'll stand up, see if I can get a better shot. Oh, they came out so nice. I was concerned about the... Because um, when you you send off your files, I set mine all up myself in Photoshop. Because you can either send them an image and get them to do it for you, or you can do it yourself. And so I chose like the thickness of this edge. But having never done them this size, I wasn't sure quite how close to go. But no, it's, it's come out alright. Actually, I'm going to grab another. 
Oh, those are gonna look so nice sat on like backing cards as pairs. Yay! <laughs> ah, see if these go well, I, I will do some more. Uh, I'm just not sure which design is gonna be the most popular, really. Cause I I I would have thought the bee, but then I really like the toadstool. But <laughs> I'm also biased, so. <laughs> but no, I think the water lily came out nice. You can see you can see what everything is. There's always that worry when you make art that other people won't see what you've meant to do. No. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so these are more badges. These are, yeah, one and a half inch ones uh, of my last sort of watercolours you'll have seen me do. So these uh, should be fine because I've done these sort of things before. Okay, let's see what's in bag number one. And, oh, this is the strawberries. <gasps> and I see the other one as well. Oh, look how bright that came out. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, <laughs> good. They actually look like strawberries because I've, I've never painted strawberries before. So you can tell what they are, so that's good. <laughs> And I saw the toadstool house in this one, which is, I think, probably the cutest. Oh, look at that! Oh, <laughs> yeah. I think I think this one is my favourite of this batch. But you, you watch, you'll see when I unpackage the rest. Yes. Okay, so that's that bag. Um. Oh, I think this is the flower teacup. Find one with the backing already taken off so you can see it. Oh, there's one. Yeah, they, they always open one to make sure they're alright. Oh. See, this is this one was my busiest design, so it was <laughs> was uh, hoping that you could see like each individual flower, each individual leaf. And this is good because I, I worried that um because the laser gets pretty close, so I was hoping like the leaves wouldn't like snap off. But this is fine. This is really good. Oh, yeah, and the blue came out nice as well. Because that on when I scan things in, you know, I have to brighten them, so the blue came out much more pale. But uh, no, yeah, this came out just right. Yay! <laughs> okay, I think. I think those are all that one in there. So we have this is my bee. Yes, it's my bee. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, you know the sketch for this one took so long because I was struggling with the proportions of the bee's body and the bee's head because I kept making the body too small, so it didn't look it didn't look like that like a nice chunky fat bee. But I think it worked out in the end. I think I finally finally got there with it. Aww. And he sat on a, a little clover. <laughs> right, and I should have one more, which is going to be yes, the Highland cow. Oh, oh, good. You can see all the fur. Because mm. that's the thing when you scale something down, you can lose some detail. No, that actually looks like fur, <laughs> which, which is not something I'm used to drawing like at all. Oh, yay! Uh, those look good. In fact, let me zoom in.
so I actually got another package and when I opened it I panicked because this is what I saw uh, all the packaging messed up and as you can see this is full of glass things um, thankfully I've, I've opened a few of them and they seem to be fine and what they are is these I got these little um, I guess you call them a bell jar uh, with the cork bottoms and I'm, I <laughs> I saw these and I was like yes they're such like they're such a nice size because they're not too big and they're not too small uh, and my thinking is to make sort of little scenes inside them uh, maybe sculpt some mushrooms out of uh, Fimo or something um, and stick them to the, the cork base and yeah I think that's gonna be really good um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do that because that's going to, that's like a few days of, of work. Um, <laughs> so I'll have to find some time for that. Uh, they just need uh, a bit of a wash because they've got all bits of polystyrene on them now. Um, but yeah, they appear to all be safe. So I'm going to open the rest up and just, just make sure they're all all right. So I'm just setting up my little area to take some photos. And I've got this sort of wooden panel background and this is just, it's like one of those fabric ones that you unroll. So I'm not sure how big this is, but I think it's at least a meter wide. So it, it covers my entire dining table. And I'm going to be photographing some mugs. So I've got these wooden slices. And what I like to do is just sort of offset, stack them like that. Let's see if I can pop you down for a second. And then I'll pop my mug on. And then I've got this pile of fake flowers here and I'm just going to use these to sort of put around it to just dress it up a little bit. And I'm using my big ring light behind me. And yeah, I'm going to take some pictures. These are all going to be for Etsy and I need to remember to get a 15 second video because Etsy, Etsy said they really like um, listings with video. So I've got to do that as well. So yeah, and I'm going to be using my, my big Nikon here. So I'll use that for both the photos and the videos. So yeah, I'm going to get on with that now. Okay, so I've done taking all my photos. Uh, I got a video of each one and I also took a photo with the mugs sat next to their matching coasters. 
So I'm thinking I'll list the mugs and the coasters separately, but I'll also put an option on that if you buy a mug and a coaster, you get things a little bit cheaper. So I, th I think that's like the best way to do it. Then people don't have to go to another listing to get the coaster as well. So yeah, I've took multiple photos of each, like way more than I need. Just in case some are a little bit out of focus or the colours aren't right. But I, I do put things into Photoshop and I will colour correct myself. Because when you take a photo, the colours, they're never quite the same. So, but I can just adjust that. So yeah, I think they look nice. I think dressing them up with these sort of like little flowers really helps the listing stand out. So yeah, now I'm going to do that, which will take... A surprisingly long time because I'll, I'll crop all the all the shots as well because um, for a thumbnail on Etsy it's it's five by four so I always like to crop them to about that size then it doesn't matter which one I use as the thumbnail but yeah <laughs> I'll admit they do look nice all sat together like this I might take a picture of them like this as well so people can see so people don't have to jump to the other listing to see the other designs that might be good. So yeah, <laughs> that's my process for taking photos. So I'm not quite sure how long I've got to film this uh, little ending piece because it has been raining all day. I have been waiting absolutely hours to film this ending so I can edit it in the video and, and set that exporting. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just been raining solidly all day. I have been waiting hours. So <laughs> let's do this before it starts up again. Um, so yeah, really, really pleased with how my pins turned out. Um, Especially the uh, the little sort of fairy house, little toadstool house. That one is so nice. <laughs> um, yeah, and the earrings as well came out really nice. I've never done um, designed earrings before. I've never worked on anything that small. So, you know, I did keep things relatively simple just so, you know, it wasn't, I didn't lose any of that detail. But yeah, those are nice. Um, they're all pretty much unpacked now. Um, well, you saw but yeah so I need to glue all the pins on the back of the, the badges and then do the um, uh, the earrings uh, which I've got some little bits coming for them I got I, I, I did get them in rose gold after all I did manage to find some uh, so those are coming so yeah I've got a lot of <laughs> a lot of gluing to do um, oh and I've taken pictures of all my mugs now so those need editing I'm thinking um, a shop update should be coming this Saturday, I hope. Uh, I say very tentatively. Um, I, I will definitely announce it on Instagram, but yeah, that's a lot for me to do in the next few days. So hopefully, because at least if I've only got some of the badges glued, that's probably enough. I hope. <laughs> I hope. Um, but yeah, so that would, I think that's the 2nd of October. Which I think it'd be nice to have a shop launch at the beginning of October. I think that'd be nice. Um, sorry, not shop launch, shop update. Because uh, I've not actually had one yet. <laughs> it's been a month. Like, yeah, I think it's been, all oh, it'll have been almost a month. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, I launched my shop on the, the 4th of September. So it's been going alright. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'll keep this brief in case the rain comes back. But thank you very much. Uh, for watching. Uh, next vlog should be up in a few days and you'll probably see me doing all the gluing and, and packaging um, of all, all the little new bits that I got. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!